Let's talk about six tips to finding your snowbird paradise next season. Whether you're already a snowbird or planning to become a snowbird, this video is for you. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Calvin McDaniel, your local realtor here in the Fort Lauderdale and surrounding area. With access to miles of beautiful Atlantic beaches, Southeast Florida is one of the nation's most popular snowbird destinations. Demand for South Florida rentals has surged since COVID-19, along with rental prices. If you're an existing snowbird, you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you were lucky enough to find a rental this past season, and it wasn't over 25% more than you paid the previous year. Congratulations. For those of you thinking about becoming a snowbird, you need to know three things. Demand is high for rentals here in South Florida. High demand means higher prices, and there's no time to waste. Stay with me till the end of this video, and I'll share the number one resource for finding seasonal rentals. In prior years, you could wait until September before seriously starting to search for next season's rental. Not the case in today's demanding market. So there's no time to waste. If you haven't already secured a rental for next season, this needs to be a high priority. We're not even through this season, and I have a list of clients ready to commit for next year. So let's discuss what constitutes the snowbird season. Typically, it begins right after Thanksgiving through Easter of the next year. However, most snowbirds start trickling down right after the first of the year and start heading north the end of March. So the average length of stay is three months. The latest trend in snowbird rentals is increasing the minimum stay requirement from three months to four months. That's whether you stay the entire period or not. Some properties are requiring six month minimum stays. Be sure to read the descriptions and requirements before you get too excited about a property you've fallen in love with. You don't want to be disappointed. As you start the property search, you need to consider the following. How long do you plan to stay? What is your budget? What area do you prefer? Do you want an ocean or water view? Do you prefer a condo or single family home? Are you planning to bring a pet? Let's discuss each of these questions in more detail. How long do you plan to stay? You need to be accepting of a minimum three month stay. In some cases, you may have to commit to four months or longer, whether you stay the entire period or not. Keep in mind, when renting in Florida for less than six months in one day, there is a sales and use tax on rentals. Here in Broward County, it's 13% on top of the rental price. The 13% is made up of 6% state sales tax, 6% Broward County tax, and 1% for the city I live in, Lauderdale by the Sea. I've included the most recent local rental tax rate chart in the description. You can look up your county of interest. Be sure to include the 6% state tax. City taxes run between 0 and 1%. Unfortunately, I don't have a chart for each city's tax, but remember though, any rental longer than six months in one day is not taxed. What's your budget? Rental prices have escalated over the past couple years. On average, a 25% increase. Using Fort Lauderdale as an example, if you prefer an oceanfront, not ocean view, you're looking at a starting price of $3,500 per month for a two bedroom, two bath. Ocean views start around 5,000. If oceanfront or ocean view isn't a requirement, prices start around $2,500. What area do you prefer? This may take some thought. Let's talk about temperature first. We all have a preferred temperature. Me, I want it 70 degrees or above. You, however, may enjoy 60 degree temperatures. Keep in mind the further south you travel, the warmer it will be. Now, what about activities? Are you a beach bum, a golfer, tennis buff, or don't have any specific passion, just glad to be coming to Florida? Knowing what interests you will help narrow your search. There are beautiful condos along the East Coast shoreline and stunning gated communities with amazing golf courses and tennis clubs west of the shoreline. I'm most familiar from Fort Lauderdale to Delray Beach and all towns in between. Each has its own pulse and unique characteristics. Message me and give me a quick call if you want some insight into each area. Do you want an ocean or water view, or is water not important? 
A word of caution. If ocean or water views are important, pay careful attention to the images of the property. Make sure you can see the views from the windows. Just because the rental is located along the shoreline doesn't guarantee you have a great view of the ocean. Here's why. The shoreline runs north to south. Even though the building is along the shoreline, the majority of units are located on the sides of the building with another building next to it. This can limit your view. The same hold true for intercoastal views. If you rent a single family home located on a finger canal, you'll basically have a view of your neighbor across the canal. Do you prefer a condo or single family home? This is a really important decision. With condo living, you're living in close proximity to others and are expected to follow the rules and regulations of the condo association. If adhering to rules is an issue, condo living may not be for you. What about heights? I know I'm not comfortable above three stories. Some buildings are 16 stories or higher. The alternative is a single family home. Going this route, you'll see a significant increase in price as supply is low compared to condos. It might be the only solution if you're bringing Fifi. Pets can be a challenge for renting, and let's talk about that next. Are you planning to bring your pet? Condos can have no pet policies. The same can hold true for single family homes. However, you have a better chance finding a single family home that allows pets. With condos or single family homes, federal and state fair housing laws prohibit discriminating against the need for an emotional support or service animal and therefore cannot deny reasonable accommodations. You'll need an ESA letter from a licensed health professional. Internet documents are no longer sufficient. Before you disclose early on that you plan to bring your pet and confirm it will be acceptable. Okay, now that you've given consideration to all these questions, it's time to find your paradise. Remember, I promise to share the best method for finding snowbird rentals at the end of this video, so stay with me. But before I do that, I want to share one more important detail. Once you find your paradise, it's time to reserve your date of stay. You may be introduced to something unfamiliar, a contract of lease, which is a legally binding agreement prior to the lease agreement. The reason I bring it up, coming from the north, I was unfamiliar with contracts to lease as well. It may not be customary throughout Florida, but here in Broward, Miami-Dade, and Palm Beach counties, it's common practice. Essentially, a contract to lease spells out all the details that will be transferred to the lease agreement. However, once you sign it, it becomes a legally binding contract. Changing your mind or not following through with the lease agreement could forfeit your security deposit, so be mindful. Next, you will continue signing the lease agreement. You'll be required to place a security deposit equivalent to one month's rent. The deposit will be held in escrow by a title company or your realtor's brokerage. Prior to move-in, the remaining balance of rent will be due for your entire length of stay. Well, we've come to the end of this video. I hope this information has been helpful as you begin your search for next season's snowbird rental. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I promise to share the number one resource to getting first dibs on upcoming snowbird rentals. Have you ever had complete access to the multi-listing service? For those of you unfamiliar with the MLS, it's the data system realtors use when listing properties for sale or rent. It provides real-time updates on all properties. Those of you relying on other websites, you may be seeing outdated information. Having foreknowledge is the difference between hoping and renting. To know firsthand when a snowbird property becomes available, I'm offering you access to the South Florida MLS through a private portal. This private portal is specific to your needs. Take what you've learned in this video and tell me exactly what you're looking for. You can do this by clicking the link below in the description titled, Set Up Private Portal for Finding a Rental. There's no cost to you. Simplify your life and let the properties come to you. The minute a new property becomes available, you'll get an email and text message. When something interests you, reach out to me and we'll start the contract to lease. Take the 20 seconds to complete the brief questionnaire so you can find your paradise in record time. If you found this content helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. I get phone calls, texts, and emails every day from folks coming to Florida. I absolutely love it. Reach out to me today, day, nights, weekends. I'm here to help.